Hi guys, welcome back to Bunny Ballistics. You know it's me, Hitomi. I'm back again. Who else would it be? Today I have kind of um, some interesting bullets for us today. I have um, some LTEC ammunition. They, as far as I'm aware, are a brand that's gone out of business or something as far as I'm aware. Their website, I believe, last time I checked, isn't really a thing. And finding their ammo isn't exactly the easiest. Uh, now, I originally looked for this ammo trying to find the full stop that we used from the um, the C9, which ended up pulling into the, the three uh, petals of solid copper. Um, I was hoping these would be the same. We shall see. They don't say full stop on them. They're just say copper hollow point, basically full copper. Um, so we'll see how they look and stuff. Um, I'm kind of excited because I've had these for a long time and I want to know what I bought because <laughs> I thought I was buying what I thought. And then I went looked back and I was like, oh, I don't think these are them. Anyways, now that I've ranted, please like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, remember, I am having a little Patreon giveaway for my first 10 members. Um, more info will be in the description if you guys are interested in that, as well as the link to my Patreon. It should tell you how many uh, members I have, so you'll know. All right. Ah, let's get into our uh, tool and ammo, shall we? All right, so let's take a look at these. So these are really interesting. So they have that um, shell, uh, uh, what is it called? Shell shock casing on it, I believe it's called, where I think it's like steel and aluminum or something of that nature. Uh, very durable and very reloadable. And then, like I said, they are full copper. They have an interesting inside to them. But they are, um, they're 115 grain. And they have a box velocity of 1200 on them. And we will be shooting them out of our beautiful P365XL. Such a lovely lady. Um, and it's about a four and a half inch barrel and that's including the compensator. Okay. We are ready to get to our chrono tests, I think. Let's have at it. All right, so these are our LTEC solid copper hollow, uh, hollow points. Uh, these are actually kind of hard to find. I don't think Altec's in business anymore, like I said. Uh, but yeah, they have those really neat um, cases on them. And yeah, I really want to see how these expand. These are what I was trying to find the full stop in. Okay, so let's get our three and one eleven twenty and eleven twenty five eleven oh six we did it So these are our LTEX, and they're full of copper. Look at that. That is a freaking wound cavity, isn't it? Look at that. It's, it's, gosh. It's 
nothing crazy. And then it did a, a nice little turn. You see it one. Whoop. And there it is down there. It's starting to look like uh I'm gonna lock her up. Okay. You wanna shut the gate? Sorry there, they're closing up. And I'm just letting them know I will lock up when I leave. So yeah, these look like exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for full stops from LTEC and just uh well, holy shit, look at that. These definitely look like them. Okay, we'll shoot through Dino and pull them out, and I'll see if they, they look the same. They sure seem like it. Oh, um, give me one more second. I gotta get the, um, measuring tape. I mean, we don't really need that, do we? Oh, now I have a freaking phone call. God damn it. Anyway, it's about 12 inches. Okay, LTEC time. Do denim. So there's our shop placement. It was a little close to the other one. And uh, just like the first one, this boy fucking curved. Look at that. And of course it curved the other way into a bunch of empty gel that I was going to use. Oh well. Right in front of me. Let's see. This just wants to focus at all, which apparently doesn't. Um, about 11 inches. And these definitely look like those full stops. That is really crazy. Okay, let's pull these out and look at them. And then um, later, I am going to compare these to the G9 as well. So I am actually uh, really freaking curious. So yeah, we'll pull these out and look at them. Okay, y'all, let's get the weights of these. These things are really, really cool. Uh, so let's start off with our um, bear gel, and we know they're supposed to be 115 grain. So that's pretty much on the mark. Solid copper usually is not gonna, not gonna really lose much. And you can see how weird these open, like how interesting. <laughs> this is really, really cool how these opened. Look at that. It's still like cylindrical. Uh, it's like a half moon. <laughs> Look at that. How really cool is that? Okay, and that is our bear gel one. Now let's do our denim, and then we uh, see here one fifteen. So again. Pretty close as well. And then here we have our denim shot. And as you can see, actually right there, there's actually some denim stuck in there. You can see it kind of being blue. And again, the same thing. It, it's like the, the mouth opened up just like, like, I don't know, just really, really interesting. Like, I'm wondering if these are supposed to be the full stops now. That's what I was after, and this is what they're supposed to open to, so I'm not sure. And then, so we have our bear and denim, and they are pretty similar. Like, there is really no difference at all with these. 
That's interesting. What I am going to do, I'm going to make a comparison video and I'll probably put it on the Patreon since it probably won't be anything too crazy, but I want to compare these to the G9s that are full stops and see exactly how they differ. So I think that'll be neat. So that'll be on my Patreon probably over the next couple days when I get to it. Um, but let's get to the diameters of these. Okay, so as per usual, we will be taking uh, three measurements and I will take the average of those measurements and put them on our Google Docs page, which is in the description below. So our first is 0 0.721. And then we have 0.745 and then 0.715 and we'll move on to our denim and our first denim is 0.714 and 0.708 and 0.697 and there we have some pretty interesting bullets by LTEC Again, I don't know if you can find these very easily anymore, um, but um, they're very, very cool, I, I think. Uh, I definitely like um, these kind of bullets. Uh, granted, they didn't do the greatest in the gel. The bearer went like third, uh, excuse me, it's like 12-ish. And the one through denim went like 11, so not the farthest. Um, but they're solid copper, which I really like. I feel like they're always going to work. They didn't clog, which is a good thing. Um, the only thing was the penetration was maybe a little weak. Uh, personally, I still like them. I would definitely use them. I'm not a, just a penetration kind of girl. You get what I'm saying? No, just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, anyways, um... If you like these bullets, let me know down below um, what you do like, what you don't like about them. Um, make sure you give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, please. Um, if uh, I still have my Patreon giveaway going on. So first 10 members, I will send you kind of your choice. Everyone will probably get stickers. Um, and you can get like an expanded bullet or a bullet um, that's not been fired of your choice because I have a little bit of the exotic ones flaying around. Um, and you can check that on the Google Docs and you can see what I have in every caliber I have listed out. Um, oh, also, I am going to be comparing these to the G9 uh, full stops because uh, these seem to be what I was looking for originally, so it's really weird. Anyways, that'll be posted on Patreon, um, and it'll be available to any tier. So one dollar will get you it, a uh, million dollars will get you it. A million dollars, you know, wink wink, anyone, guys? No. Um, okay guys, I'll stop messing around. That That's the end of the video. <laughs> I love you guys, if you've actually watched this far. I, uh, I give you credit because I am blabbering. Um, so thank you guys again. And I, I love you and you make this really fun. And yeah, so have a good day.